All right, Chris, thanks so much. Well, Fox Carolina is committed to you, and with the growth of the upstate, well, it comes some issues. And today we're looking at East Butler Road in Malden. Some mm -hmm. of the original plans are now being revised, we're talking about infrastructure, and the public is getting a chance to see what these new plans will look like. We've been following this since January and found out earlier today when we tell you about community feedback, well, it's really important because yeah. things have changed because of your feedback. Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer live at Malden Cultural Center. That's on East Butler Road for us right now where the public can actually come out and see those plans. So Carrie, what do we know about this so far? Well, you know, guys, the rain is starting to come down out here, but that's not stopping people from coming out to see what those new plans look like. Back in January, they gave some feedback to SCDOT, and because of that communication, SCDOT came back with some new revised plans. And right here behind me at the Cultural Center until 7 p.m., the public can come and see what those plans are. A stretch of road popular for volumes of traffic from Interstate 385 down to Lawrence Road is slated for changes. But with changes comes concern. East Butler Road does not need to be the next Woodruff Road. SCDOT says plans for the 1.7 mile section of East Butler Road from just below the open air market all the way down across North Main Street will ease traffic congestion and support pedestrian and bicycle pathways. I don't want to see anybody lose their homes because of this road project. Pete Poor from SCDOT told us today some of the changes made since January include 10 houses or businesses that were up for relocation are now reduced to seven, including three businesses and four residential spots. He says they hope to finalize plans for the $17 million project by July of 2023 with construction slated to begin in 2024. We can find solutions without taking away everything that we value. Now those plans will be on display here tonight until 7 p.m., but don't worry if you don't make it out. SCDOT says they are still taking comments and input until December 10th. If you want to find out how you can do that, we've got that information for you in our As Seen On section on our Fox Carolina News app. Cody, Tori, 